Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. If you're watching this video later on over there for some more Naya Huatli. This has been one of my favorite decks to play. So let's go ahead and, you know, get to it. We have basically green-white tokens here for the most part. You know, we have Hero, Precinct 1, Amara, March, Tristani. Um, but then we have our awesome Huatlis, which... We have been seeing more Huatli Radiant Champions played in normal green-white tokens these days. Sorry, Hawkeye. I'll lower this for you. There you go. But we're also splashing red for Huatli Warrior Poet, because this card's also pretty good. Um, either any of these abilities, if you need to gain some life against uh, aggro, may, need to make some dinosaurs, because just making dinosaurs is pretty cool. And also having your creatures not be able to block your army of tokens is pretty nice i've also been very impressed with spellbreaker in this deck especially with this huali's minus one to pump it up and make it a really large trampler so we got that in there as a spicy one and then of course cinder vines in the sideboard as our other red we got these tower defenses in here too because i'm tired of all my creatures dying to finality so we got tower defenses to protect against that we got our our last Sultai opponent, like one of these last times we streamed this deck, we got our opponent. They, uh, you know, waited for me to overextend because they had like their Wild Growth Walkers or whatever in play. And I have to, I have extend to go wide. And then afterwards they finality and boom, tower defense. They weren't expecting it. Nope. The game ended on the spot. They killed like all of their creatures except for the one, <laughs> like the one they put the counters on with the finality and all of mine stayed alive. So that's what we're doing. That's the dream. We're trying to live it with Naya Huatli. And then we're going to have Mono Black Zombies up next after this. Omniscient, 1998. It's a good hand. We could use some more lands. I like where we're at right now. Hmm, not a land. Really just need one more land. Let's go with... Let's go with Legion's Landing first and just see if we can... Run the dream. It's also not taking a land out of the deck. Uh, opponent kept a one lander. Who would keep a one lander? Who would do that? Getting the second white source because of these histories. Uh, exclamation point decks. If you do that, you can find the deck list for mono black zombies in there. Unfortunately, I cannot hero plus flower. I uh, don't have the mana for that. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to flower first and then hero. So, we don't get the trigger from hero. Okay, so happy. This is his favorite deck. Wow, our opponent still hasn't hit a land drop. Ooh, Carnival. Carnival? So is this red-black mid-range? There's no mono red decks that play Carnival, right? So this, this has got to be red-black mid-range. What is red-black mid-range doing keeping Mountain as one land? Maybe our opponent just misclicked and meant to mulligan and accidentally hit keep. Not the steamkin? Dude, I don't even know what's going on these days.
Probably Red Phoenix? I guess it could be a Red Phoenix deck. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I'll just kind of board like it's mono red. A little bit. Just bring in these Baffling Ends and Conclave Tribunal. And cut the Ajani, cut a Huatli, cut a Huatli. Mono Red, Splashing Carnival, and Remodi. Okay. That sounds like worse Mono Red. I don't even think I don't think Remodi's even good enough to go in normal mono red. Alright, so we're gonna trim those two. We got two more to cut. I guess it's another Huali Radiant Champion. And then I wanna trim either Hero, Amara, Shauna, like one of these things. Okay. Man, if they're gonna be playing May just take out a landing. No, I'm gonna take out like an Amara because those things are legendary. Hey, no warrior poet's good. Warrior poet's plus two says gain a lot of life. Gaining a lot of life is pretty good. Oh, so this is a Phoenix deck? Phoenix is cool. That was a convenient time for that runaway Steamkin to meet its baffling end. Wait, well, you're you're welcome, Retract. I'm glad you're liking the best of three. Yeah, that's what I always want to play. Trying to get my orange juice, or whatever this thing is, mega antioxidant juice thing. Yeah, there's the the Mythic Championship Best of One tournament, which is uh, not this weekend, but next, right? It's not this. Yeah, it's next weekend. I will take action against that. Okay, you want to sit? I don't think you did. Yeah, it's just best of one. When would you choose haste for a spellbreaker? Against other decks, like against like control decks and stuff. Against red decks, getting that fourth toughness is very important. So I can make two tokens by waiting on this. I could march like right now and make two tokens. I think I'll just I'll just wait. Aha, it's a Rakdos burn. Fiery Cannonade. That's cheating. Ooh. Huali coming through. Clutch. Clutch. That's clutch, Hawkeye. Their strength no. the is your strength. Gain four. That's pretty good. Counters these burn spells. Cheater. Game four. Their strength is your strength.
The song's talking about our opponent, Hawkeye. Way down they go. Go, 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 go. You want to sing it, Hawkeye? Oh, meow, meow. Their strength is your strength. Hey, DJ. All right, Nihuali is one and oh. Do it, Gunny what? So, something I introduced a couple streams ago, or I guess the last stream, sub battle countdown. Uh, every sub and resub and gifted sub, everything gets this countdown going down. Whenever we're at zero, we're going to take a an entire day of streaming. Um, only just matches of me versus the subs here in chat. We're going to have a whole lot of fun with it. Uh, you know, be playing random opponents, random playing random decks, all this kind of stuff. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I have information d down below in the info panel. If you want to be in on that and have the ability to maybe get in some of those games, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You also get access to 22 really awesome emotes, including all the cool Hawkeye emotes. Gates, huh? Let's... Let's just go. Let's just go. Feast. Boom, boom. No, I don't follow March Madness, no. I do follow baseball. Real excited about baseball being back. Open the gates. I don't want to open the gates. I don't like the gates. Back. So kids choice or breakdown uh, I is that that's this weekend right yeah I guess that's this weekend it'll it'll be for subs only that day Yeah, we'll be so we'll be battling against subs only that day. The Rangers are, are my team. Uh, the Twins are my second team. Those are my two teams: the Rangers and the Twins. Uh, but all right, and Conclave Tribunal will be able to finish this one out. I could also just not show them Tribunal since I show them all these spellbreakers, and just go hasty haste. Yeah, let's just go haste. Go Mariners, no. It go to last place to take the Rangers. Take over the lane the Rangers for last place. We'll be one of those two in the division this year, most likely. I guess it's possible for the Angels to tank. My favorite current player. Hmm. I don't know who my favorite current player is. Baseball is kind of a, a sport where you don't really attach the players as much. More of the teams. It could be Elvis. Elvis Andrews. He's just been around for so long and and everything. And just a, yeah, I like me some Elvis Andrews. What am I doing against Gates? Well, Angels won't purposely tank. I mean, if they have a couple pitchers get hurt, their team's not very good. They could they could easily finish in last place. 
<clears throat> not like saying that they would purposely be tanking. I guess I should be playing tower defenses against the Gates of Blaze deck. Yeah. Do I want to take out Trim one Huali, one Johnny? No, the Planeswalkers are usually pretty good here. I could just take out March of the Multitudes. Put up a parking lot. Like, how much do I want these tribunals? Yeah, I talked about maybe take, taking out the Ajani is, is like, just um, in general. I don't want to sideboard too much. I want to keep my deck... Um, synergistic. Baffling End doesn't stop Colossus. It's good against the Ram, though. But I'd rather just play Tribunal... What kind of enchantment removal do they have? Like, should I be more in on enchantments? Or do they kill enchantments easily? That's what I was I was trying to think, and I couldn't really think of, like, what they would be playing to kill enchantments. Uh, like, realistically. Like, you know, obviously they can have, like... Like, maybe they have, like, Crushing Canopy, but I don't feel like that's very realistic that they would have that in against me. Plus, we don't even know if they... I, I would assume they have rams. They had, they had the 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, yeah, they have the 3-4 that gains a ton of life. Think how look at how good tower defense would have been right there if we would have had it. If we would have drawn tower defense. Think how amazing it would have been right there. Eight eights are big. Big pains in my butt. All right, some re-sideboarding. I need all. I think I want all the tribunals. Give me all of those. Um, I think I want this Amara back in, especially on the play. I don't know. I just don't. I don't want like the expensive cards too much. Maybe it's Hero. I want to be able to go real wide. Like, Planeswalkers are good because they don't get to usually kill them as easily. But they may not do that. They may not do too, too much. Yeah, Cinder Vines kills Colossus for, like, the three mana. Baffling Hand's good against... You know, it's really good against Ram. The thing is, I just don't want so much... Like... 
Gates wins the la the late game really easily, and I just don't want a whole lot of interaction in my deck. If I just like fill my deck with Cinder Vines and Baffling Ends and all this kind of stuff, they're just going to draw a whole lot of cards and kill me. Like that's just not a a way to win the matchup. I don't think. I think just having a few removal spells, you know, like we have here, we have like the four tribunals, and hope you have like, and hope you have just an aggressive start with like the one removal spell kind of thing. But if I just put a, a ton of reactive spells, they're just gonna play the blue, the blue gate or uh, or a big crisis or you know explosion. Like they're just gonna draw so many cards and overpower me. I can't just sit back and try to react and win. Can we draw a tower defense? I used uh, unhinged lands and beta lands, or like my two favorite ones. I used I did have some apex lands also that I'd use at at times. You know, it's kind of depending on like what deck I was playing. You know, the different like what colors it was of like which lands I had. And tower defense would be so good if we could just draw it. It'd just be game winning. But we're just drawing lands. Unbreakable Formation doesn't save your creatures from finality, which is the reason why I have Tower Defense. An unfortunate mulligan. We drew a third of our land, seven out of our 21. No, we have 22 lands. So seven out of our 22. I mean, I can, I can flourish and make these three threes and hit them for three. Gain some life to stay alive for a little bit, but that's just not, not going to happen. Well, dang. Well, we got game one. But games two and three, our opponent had their sweepers. We did not have our anti-sweepers. And we lose. <laughs> Man, that's that's rude. Opponent's taking your crucible. When you're trying to be a Ponza deck with Thief of Sanity. That's rude. Could have used you last game. Pump up my 4-4. Four, four, get that out of the gates of Blaze range. You do realize I'm playing tower defense to be able to stop finality, right, Valora? Like, I've said that a ton. Formation does zero against finality. It's the entire reason why I have the card on my sideboard. Finality. Gives your creatures minus four, minus four.
That's why we have tower defense. It's the the card that can keep your creatures alive there. Any other things that the cards do, I don't care about. I, I need it for finality. I need it for the soul time matchup. It's not a great spot to be in for the opponents having to just throw a Curious Obsession on Trickster. Not too great of a spot at all. If I... I mean, good chance that they have a Spell Pierce. I mean, I don't know if it's a good chance, but certainly a chance. If I have the Spellbreaker just be a 3-3 Haste, though, it can't tussle with a potential Tempest Gin. So I'm going to go with the counter so it can attack through a Tempest Gin. Yeah, Ponza. Okay, there you go. Yeah, people are answering you. You're good. Yeah, Ponza is a land destruction deck. I guess you could say that if somebody's watching this on YouTube later without the chat. Right there, streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG. There you go. Yeah, no problem. That'd be that's probably something I should add to the, the Twitch info there. Thanks for that uh, comment there. Alright, so we can we so yeah, harpooners are of course coming in, so is baffling end, so is tribunal. We could have tower defense to block flyers. That could be something we could do, if we would like. Um, I feel like we have like an, enough removal and everything, though, but that may not be so necessary. We unfortunately cut all the planeswalkers because they're expensive and get get countered pretty easily. Kind of the same with March of the Multitudes, even though it's an instant, it's just not too necessary. So if we play one of these, we could play like one March, one Tower Defense. Eddie asks, what tips would you give for somebody wanting to invest in like, modern or legacy? For example, I want to invest in burn. I don't really know of any like real good tips. All right, let me let me think about which card I want to play here first. Sorry, but be, you know, besides just kind of getting the cards, like maybe just kind of waiting and seeing if there's sales. But there's not really. Uh, TCG player is usually the best place to go to get the cheapest cards. I'm going to have this one tower defense. Cindervines is not going to be a good card here. It does destroy a Curious Obsession, but it costs three mana to do that. So three mana just to deal with the... to deal with their one mana enchantment that likely already drew him a card. And they still have like their creature that's beating you down. Not not gonna be something I'm gonna play. Does anybody in chat have any good suggestions for getting those kind of cards for like modern legacy? So Shauna's going to make two bodies. So we can play that and Tribunal here the same turn. I 
My question, is it fair to say Modern is slowly dying in terms of tournament players? Is it still worth maybe investing in? I wouldn't say it's slowly dying. I think that's... It's a little extreme. Yeah, I'd say that, that sounds extreme to me. So I think it's I think it's okay to to invest in. I don't think it's dying. I mean, we can double spell with these, but even if they even if they cast the uh the essence capture to be able to put a counter on the storm tamer. I still don't think I'd want to baffling and the storm tamer too much. Okay, it looks like they have dive down for how they're acting. Dead out of here. Yeah, now I liked baffling ending that storm tamer, I suppose. We got four over there. Yeah, opponent did use that dive down pretty early. They just killed that 1-1. One, one. But, of course, they they didn't have the mana to cast it after that anyway. So playing this first plays around Spell Pierce. So now they have to spend. Oh no, they still have enough mana to spend the one mana with Storm Tamer, and I missed that opt. So they still have five. Dang, I thought they only had four. I missed this last opt. You can't top you can't tap Shauna. This allows this history token to trade for Trickster, but next turn it'll be a 4-3. This card says can't be the target of abilities your opponents control. So Trickster is an ability. And Tricky Trickster, Shauna cannot be that target. So instead our opponent just had to jump block. Hmm. Interesting. Destroy target enchantment. Nah, we'll do creature with flying. Enchantment was... Was an option there. And there we go, Nayahuali on the board again with another win we are now two and one let's keep it going
played Crixus Discard. Finish that upload. Play first. I'll keep it. It's a little bit slower. Didn't have any of our 9 2 drops. That's alright. Ooh. Spellbreaker is good against Mono Red. It's one of our best cards. We draw five mana, Huatli. So we can tick up Spellbreaker, or tick up on Huatli and gain four like we did earlier against the red deck. That is an early frenzy. Oh boy. Not look good for our opponent. And there we go. Up a game. Their hand was not good. That was not a good hand for our opponent. Let's get these baffling ends. Tribunal. And... That Huali out, this Ajani out. We just do that. March is, isn't really spectacular either. Especially if they're playing Chain Whirlers. We don't really want to be marching against Chain Whirler. Well, I guess we could have given them three cards with Risk Factor because then they'd have to discard two. Yeah, I guess we could have done that. Um... I got 20, and we have a, a, you know, good, good couple ground creatures. I didn't want them to, like, find, like, the, you know, be able to stack up a bunch of removal or something. I don't know. I don't think it really mattered. Definitely not Cinder Vines. Harpooner is the card that thinking about instead of March. Oh, let's keep March. Okay, if you're looking to upgrade your watch or sunglasses game and want a nice watch, like this is the classic blue and brown that I have here from Movement, go through my referral link, use the coupon code TODDSTEVENSMTG, get 15% off your watch or sunglass purchase at Movement. Do I shock to start getting this Legion's Landing in? Probably not. Probably don't want to shock against Mono Red. Because I think we're going to be shocking on turn three. We'll probably just go Amara and then shock on three. Much, much better hand for the opponent here. I don't want my Spellbreaker just to die here, which it will to these two cards. So we'll just throw away one of these night tokens to like a lightning strike, maybe. So 
So what they should do is lightning strike the token, attack me for four, then use the steamkin for mana for chain whirler. You know, assuming you know, obviously not knowing the other cards in their hand, they may have something better. But just with like those cards. Interesting. It's a high value on Frenzy. So hopefully we have one of these tokens survive next turn and to be a 4-3 for our, our Hawatli. Looks like we won't. Huatli, why can't you do more damage? I could I can play Huatli in minus one and kill this team Ken. looks bad for us. I need this opponent just to whiff here for a little bit. Come on, get, get like two mountains, please. Wow. That was their lava coil on top? Was it right then? Wow. Well, first game, they had a whole lot of nothing. This game, they've had a whole lot of everything. So let's let's see what we got for game three. Let's trim a landing. So one one. I'm bringing a Johnny back. So our hand's missing red mana. And we're, we're kind of dismissing lands overall. Hopefully we draw some lands here. Yeah, that, that is five and one back to back with two Vanifar lists. That is... That did happen. Yeah, two different ones. Yeah. Yeah, because... Last stream we went 5-1 with a ban, ban of our list. Don't have Withers Lightning or Shock. Okay. Ugh. Steamkin and Chain Whirler. I guess the good news is they're only playing one of those. That's the good news. They're only playing one, either Steamkin or Chain Whirler.
I can make a whole lot more March of the Multitudes tokens if I don't block. I go no block. Yeah, that was the problem. All right, come on, red source, red source, red source. Ugh, the worst. The red source would have been Huali would have been able to kill both Steamkin and Pyromancer. Then they would have been left with their three cards to try to deal thirteen to us. So we're just marching for one. Take out the Viashino. Okay, okay. Should I just play Tristani now? Or do I actually kill Steamkin? Probably just kill Steamkin. But then our Huatli's probably gonna die. You should surrender now. Gosh, they oh, this is just such a bad idea. No, well, this is such a bad idea because they just play any spell. Just needs one instant to save it. Not even two. They just need one instant to save it. Wait, can I Z? I don't want to actually do this. Thank you. Come, sing the song of fame. That was just a bad idea. I should have just played Tristani or Spellbreaker. Oh my gosh, I get to untap? Wow. That is very fortunate. They just had lands. Their strength is your strength. All right, well, this game looks over now. Be a seven seven. Gain seven. Their strength is your strength. That's a lot of life. I now have a lot of strength. Think thanks, Huali. For all that strength. And now at seven loyalty, we can pretty safely minus. I'm just going to make sure to kill these. And make sure to kill Steamkin and Lava Runner. Yeah, the bold move. Paid off. Our opponent did not have the burn spell. They just need any burn spell, even the lava coil or whatever. Kill my dinosaur token, then attack Watley. All right, we are three and one. Dude, postal service is bay. I love this whole album. This album's called Give Up. It is such a great album. One of the best album, or like one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. What do you think of this take on Blue Green Adapt? Give me that planes. Hate it. Wilderness Reclamation. Hate it. Yucky. Is every single one of these cards from Ravnica Allegiance? This is just a Ravnica Allegiance deck? Literally every card in the main deck is Ravnica Allegiance. That's kind of cool. Whoop, not you. You. 
What's our opponent doing over here? Grixis stuff? Grixis stuff could be difficult to beat. I think the Grixis discard uh, is the strongest deck out of them. Uh, the Sol I liked the Soltai Vanifar deck more than the Bant one. Hmm. The Ritual of Sitting. And if the answer is yes, do I just throw a Spellbreaker out right now? Yeah. Sing the song of fame. I wish I had enough mana to cast that warrior poet. I feel like if I play the spellbreaker. Why don't I play Legion's Landing first? Crap. Why did I not just play Legion's Landing first? Listen. You think they cheer for you? Witness my glory. Witness Why not just my play the landing fame. First? It was free. So I don't need to be as worried about ritual of soot, I don't think. Ah, smart. That's why I didn't play Legion's Landing. Shall be erased from history. See, so yeah, I could have, yes, I, I could have plot lead minus one first so then they couldn't block. But I like just, I like trading Spellbreaker for Nickel Bolas. I like that trade. Proud to have come so far. Be strong. So I want to get Amara back, but I'm also worried about the spellbreaker killing my Johnny. So I'm just gonna make these things two twos. Amara is the one creature we have that we can get back. Peace remains an option. Hit three lands. Ooh, maybe they hit three lands. That's two lands at least. Tilt. Pony, you do know peace remains an option, right? I will lend you my strength.
This would be easier if I had the the landing flipped, the Legion's landing flipped. It'd be a little easier. Without me. Why can't you be March of the Multitudes, Clifftop Retreat? So, of course, earlier I could have played a 4 4 Spellbreaker out, but I was worried about Ritual of Soots and I didn't. That has really cost us this game. I just took that turn off. All right, King Toll, have a great night. And speaking of tomorrow, you can choose. If you haven't voted in the poll yet, do you want a? I'm going to be doing a 12 hour stream because we got to our next quip goal. People signing up through my referral link to get an amazing toothbrush. You can choose if you'd like that 12 hour stream to be tomorrow or Friday, whichever one works better for you. Alright, definitely bring in this other uh, Conclave Tribunal. Um, yeah, Tristani would have been amazing. That's true. Maybe I just keep playing and see if I draw Tristani. I want to take out. I think I want to take out Shauna. I don't know. I kind of like the rest of these. I don't really see anything here out of these 62 that I want to cut. Yeah, I, I kind of like all these cards. I like the Planeswalkers. I like the two drops. I think he, some heroes out. I don't know. Hero's good. Maybe Spellbreaker. It's also just a one-for-one one card, but it costs three instead of... The problem is that they're playing like the minus two, minus two stuff. Maybe one of each. Yeah, Amara... Amara's looking at too with it being legendary. Ooh, this is a real good start. We'll see how many sweepers does the opponent have. If the answer is zero, then they will probably lose. I don't love cutting flower just kind of in 
this is maybe one I can trim, trim a flower on, but I don't love cutting flower in general because it just it's there to help us hit our land drops. But you're you're right that we're not really going to be flourishing, but as you can see here, like we we don't play a lot of land, so like the, the flowers help us hit our land drops. And that's really their job. Good C playing tribunal instead of history. I don't think I need to make myself even worse against a a wrath here. No, I'm not I'm not into anime at all. Well, Ritual of Sid and Cry the Carnarium, neither of those. Hostage Shaker isn't, you know, doesn't get swept up by either of those. They have Negate too? Maybe we should have just taken out March of the Multitudes. This card looks horrible. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be like their plan, of course, is like these sweepers, and I should just take out March. Legion's Landing's great when you get to flip it, not so great when you don't. I could play Huatli and zero, make a dinosaur. If I if I Huatli minus two to kill the thief, then they can just kill my Huatli with hostage shaker. <laughs> no fire, no steel. No, we're just dead. All right, I need a sideboard out, March. That's the card I need a sideboard out. All right, so learn something. Which I already kind of knew that against like other control decks. You know, I should, yeah, I should have just sideboarded out March. Um, if those were like two drops in our hand, it would have been amazing. No, not necessarily. But March just isn't really helping there uh, in that kind of matchup. Hmm. We need a change with this deck. I 
I think my four Cinder Vines, two Crushing Canopy is too much of that kind of stuff, maybe. Yeah, okay. I mean, we could play Honor Guards in the sideboard. That's that's not really what we want. I kind of want more Tristanis. But it's hard to get to five mana. I could have Tristani number three instead of a Johnny. As, as, I mean, as we saw that game, we never even got to five mana, but... Spyglass just isn't very impactful. I have my own Planeswalkers. I don't want a Mortal Sun. I don't think either of those cards are really what our what we want in our deck. I don't know. Our our deck's certainly a couple cards off. I think I do need to take out a Johnny and uh, I can't reach the S. Ugh. Ooh, got there. It's five fives though. I like how that. I th I think that's good though. I like that. Get a third Tristani in there. It's just such a good card almost all the time. And that does add another multicolor thing for Hero as well. So there we go. I'm going to make that change for the next time we play the deck. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.